Today, we scientifically know the clitoris is both an external as well as an internal organ. And without controversy, scientists agree the clitoris is composed of at least five parts. These five parts include the prepuce, which partially covers the glans clitoris, the glans clitoris, also called the head of the clitoris, and the body of the clitoris, which transitions from the glans clitoris. Each of these first three parts of the clitoris are external, although this varies from one female to the next. For example, some females, either only the prepuce or only the glands, are visible parts of the clitoris to the naked eye. The remaining two parts of the clitoris are internal. The body of the clitoris transitions into the angle of the clitoris, and the angle of the clitoris transitions into the root of the clitoris. Note, there is a single body of the clitoris, and this transitions into two angles and two roots of the clitoris that surround the vagina. Part of what makes anatomy complex is that it seems like there are 30 different names for the same anatomical part. The anatomy of the clitoris is no exception to this complexity. For example, the clitoral roots are often referred to as corpus cavernosa, and the ends of the corpus cavernosa are referred to as crura. And although debatable as being a part of the clitoris, several anatomists include the clitoral bulbs also referred to as the vestibular bulbs, as being the sixth part of the clitoris. The clitoral bulbs transition from the angles of the clitoris and surround the vagina in even closer proximity than the clitoris's roots. One more thing needs to be said about the clitoris's anatomy and function. Today, we know the clitoris is a normal part of a woman's anatomy, with pleasure being its normal physiological function. Repeat. The clitoris is a normal part of a woman's anatomy, with pleasure being its normal physiological function. Repeat. The clitoris is a normal part of a woman's anatomy, with pleasure being its normal physiological function.